Good morning! It's been like four days since I've worked on the van. It's time for a little vacation, so. Oh, the flies! Stop touching me! Fuck! So, last time we were here, or I was here, we were here. I bet my insulation fell. Yep, like all of it fell. Like I said, I knew it was all gonna fall. So today I'm worried about the electric. I asked my stepbrother how exactly all this, everything is gonna work. I know all the electric stuff that's gonna be in here, um, but I don't know how they're gonna attach, like via cords or do I just need to plug them in? So I'm gonna go ahead and we are going to go ahead and open up everything, refrigerator, stove, oven, a water heater. Um, I don't have a water pump. I know how the light bulbs are gonna work. That'll be easy. And then my plugs, and then also my switches. And then I'll probably work on my little door. I need to put a little frame around it and stuff. Also, my sliding door, I forgot. My sliding door needs some panels as well. So I can put those up today as well. So, okay, I got a couple stuff to do today, which is good. Okay, to be honest, I'm kind of excited. This is like Christmas. I haven't opened up anything, so I get to open up all my shit. <sighs> So it looks like the water here is not as simple. It'll have to be actually wiring it together instead of a plug. The refrigerator just needs a plug. The stove doesn't need anything. I don't know if the pump needs a plug. Okay, I think I got everything. Okay, so I was a little worried because my refrigerator is so big and wouldn't fit in the spot that I wanted it. So I had to rearrange stuff. So I wanted to put the fridge right by this wheelbarrow and just pull it out but it's so, it's so big. So I've decided I'm gonna put it here and then have something around it. And then um, I can actually pull it out. Fresh water tank will go here. This will be my plumbing. And then my gray water tank will be under. And then my heat water heater here. And then my batteries and stuff here. Also, I'm going to have my stove above this along with my propane tank. So I was really worried because um, you also have to take in consideration of all the weight. You can't have all your weight in one side. It's not gonna work. Your van's gonna look cockeyed and you're not, it's gonna destroy the van. I had to make sure that, you know, I had things on each side. So I think this will work really well. And I'm glad that I thought it through and opened all my shit. I wanna do some wiring. Do the wiring for, Those, the fans, probably get my lights all connected, see where I can put those. Sorry, right. I gotta think all this shit through because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, all right, let's do it. Why is it so crooked? Hey guys, so I know I told you I was gonna run some cords. There we go, but I give up. I'm really unsure of what I'm doing. and I don't wanna be doing anything that I don't need to be doing. So I'm gonna wait till my stepbrother gets home. In the meantime, I did open up my dash cam thing. Got that installed, kind of. My back camera is right there. All I did was plug a hole and then in the hole I put uh, electric tape around it so it doesn't plug up my cord. Then I also put some sealant around it so it doesn't plug up my cord. It needs to reach this. As you can tell, I need an extension. I ordered it, it'll be here in a few days. So this is the cord for that camera. I got it all through here, through here, and then there's a little gap. I ran it from up here, back here, I stuffed it in this. It's all under here. And then weaved it over and then it's in there. And then this is my dash cam to attach to this, my rear camera, and then the dash cam, cam cord, of course, is right there. I weaved it up here, into here, and then under, then under, then under, all the way to this. Pretty simple. Uh, something I can actually do. Same boards, 
that I use for the back. Got my skeleton on here, so this is good. This is where I'll attach it to. Now, my boards, they do fit into the crevice of the door. I can't have it too far out or it won't open, you know, in the crevice. Let's go ahead and measure it, cut it, place it, and just do that about six times. Okay, first I'm gonna get the center of these. Okay, so I got the wall done, beautiful. Now let's do this top area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get another half inch, uh, just like we did with the skeleton. I'm probably gonna put it right here. And then I think it's gonna end up being like three boards to cover it all up. And it'll probably come down here a little bit and that's okay. Uh, let's cut that half inch. And then um, I just have the right amount of boards, so. This little corner, it's not letting it fit. So I think I'm gonna get a jig, see if I can cut that down. Hopefully I don't fuck everything up. So I wanna put a white border around here. So I got a white, a long white piece. Okay, this is my white piece. I'll go cut two pieces of this, two 17 inches to go up here. And we'll see about the length of those. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I got the frame in. I think it looks really good. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm sorry. Good morning. Today we are working on the bench. What's up? Two two by sixes and I think three two by fours. Also got some really long screws. Construction screws. Um, we're gonna do a two by six. To go all the way across, make the top of the bench. We're just gonna start there. We're just gonna start there. And then we'll decide what to do after that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Our first board. I haven't completely screwed it in though, but. I got my piece. You know, I stained it yesterday. Let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, let's go over what I just did. We got our bench. So those in the there. Packed all the way down there too. Screw two here. I also put one right here and right here. As you can tell, this board is totally cockeyed because it's not completely flush on either or. Now I do want to put a board from here to there and the center one here to there and then one right here to there to complete it, make a perfect rectangle. And then I also 
So this is going to be an L-shaped bench that's going to stop around here, somewhere where the entrance stops. And I'm going to have to start adding boards to that as well. And we'll probably just do the same thing, continue with the 2x4s. But this looks really good. Now as I get, there's a lot of space here for all the electricity stuff because there's really not that much. Um, I am probably going to put a board here to compact it all. Okay guys, we're gonna put some 2x4s in. So I'm gonna put some 2x4s right here and right here on the both sides of the batteries. Um, and uh, that will, just to keep them all in one spot. Okay, so the three measurements are all wrong. They're all different. I got 23, 23 and a half, and 24 inches. 23, 23 and a half, 24 inches. Why? I asked my dad, and he says because the walls aren't straight, which makes sense. So we're just gonna cut them all different sizes, and it'll be fine. So I will be back. Okay, all right, I'm taking the day off tomorrow to work on some other stuff, but I will see you guys in two days. <laughs>